Hello and welcome to a brand new Jurassic Park video. Today I'm going to talk to you about a mystery, one that's never been officially solved and probably never will be. I'm going to explore the question, what attacked Eric Kirby's boat? In the movie, we were never shown much as to what could have attacked the boat, so it's more or less left up to the viewer to decide. Naturally, the fans are curious, and there have been a few theories floating around as to what could have attacked the boat. Let's go over a couple of them before I tell you what I think attacked the boat. A very popular theory is that the Spinosaurus attacked the boat. After all, the movie sort of hints that it was the Spinosaurus because it swims and attacks Grant's boat near the end of the movie. I disagree with this theory, because if it was the Spinosaurus, it would have to swim really fast to keep up with the boat, which I don't think it could have done. Not to mention, the boat was still intact when the fog cleared. The only damage was a few rips in the sunroof cover. If it was the Spinosaurus, the whole roof would have been gone, the boat would have been crushed, and it would start to sink. Also, the boat didn't really change course. It appeared to keep going in the same direction. If it was the Spinosaurus, the boat would have been knocked in a different direction because the Spinosaurus is so strong. So despite what the movie at best hints at, many signs point to it not being the Spinosaurus. Another theory is that it was attacked by a marine reptile, like a Plesiosaurus or a Mosasaurus. Being adept to swimming, they'd have a much better chance of keeping up with the boat, but I disagree with this theory as well, for reasons similar to why I disagree with the Spinosaurus theory. Like I said before, there would have been a lot more damage done to the boat. If the Mosasaurus was anywhere near the size of the Mosasaurus we saw in Jurassic World, the boat would have been completely destroyed. Also, it'd be unlikely that the marine reptiles would stay so close to Isla Sorna when they have an entire ocean to explore. The final theory is a theory that I happen to agree with. The boat was attacked by pteranodons. Why do I think so? Well, let's do a play-by-play -play analysis of the attack itself. Notice how during the first attack, Eric and Ben bounce as if something pushed down on the boat. That was a pteranodon landing on deck. Then the boat starts shaking up and down, as though the pteranodons are jumping, landing, flapping, and pecking down, similar to how they attacked Billy in the river before he washed away. Then the attack stops as the pteranodons retreat to the fog. Now one could argue that Ben and Eric would have seen the pteranodons coming, since they were high up in the sky. Well, not necessarily. I think it's easy for the pteranodons to catch the boat if they were sitting on some rocks along the coast. They may have been sitting in or near the fog bank, but still saw enough of the boat coming. That's when they made their move. The fact that there were free-roaming pteranodons at the end of the Lost World supports this theory, but there's an even stronger piece of evidence that supports this theory, and that's the original script of the movie. In it, Grant and Eric would come across the boat. Grant examines the wreckage and measures some gashes left behind, and finds some tracks in the sand. He concludes that it was attacked by pteranodons, and that's when they fly out of the trees and attack arriving helicopters. Why this scene was cut, I have no idea, because it would have been cool to see. Plus, it would have been a cool transition into a pteranodon scene. But it didn't happen, so we're here making theories instead. But hey, making theories is part of the fun. This has been another Jurassic Park video by Jeremy James Prutchik. What do you think attacked the boat? Talk about it in the comments. I'd really love it if you could share this video and check out my other videos too. And I'd really, really love it if you could subscribe to me as well. I promise to give you lots of content. You can also follow me on the JP Toys Forum at the Dinosaur Man. See you next time.